what is up everyone i hope all of you are doing great and today i have a question from rotational mechanics and this video would be a little bit longer than the other videos because this question is on the lengthier side so let's go through the question very quickly so there's a lamp attached on the circumference of a horizontal disc that is sliding on a frictionless horizontal flow in a dark room so uh, there is a horizontal disc on which uh, there is a lamp and it is sliding on a dark in a, inside a dark room on a horizontal flow the lamp emits sharp light pulses of different colors at regular intervals of time and uh, along with rotating and moving with the disc the lamp is also emitting sharp light pulses at a regular intervals of 1 second colors of the pulses repeatedly change in a sequence that is red green yellow blue and purple okay so the sequence of the colors are red green yellow blue and purple okay the mass center of the lamp its power supply and the disc coincides the center of the disc okay uh, in a particular time interval locations where four pulses are observed are shown in the following graph. So, in this graph here, uh, the four coordinates or four positions of the lamps for a given time interval is given. So, let us write down the coordinates also. For the red, the coordinates are 4, 10. For green, it is 1, 5. For yellow, it is 8 here 8 comma 0 for blue it's 15 comma 5 and there's no purple here okay no problem we need to find out the radius of the disk velocity vc and uh, i mean velocity of the center of mass and angular velocity of the disk okay let me write down few things first first i'll write down the displacement vector of the lamp with respect to the ground in each interval okay so displacement displacement vector of the lamp with respect to ground with respect to ground in each interval or in one second interval so from red to green the displacement vector is you can write it from these two coordinates that is 1 minus 4 minus 3 i cap 5 minus 10 minus 5 j cap from green to yellow it's uh, 8 minus 1 7 i cap 0 minus 5 minus 5 j cap for yellow to blue it is 15 minus 8 that's 7 i cap again and 5 minus 0 5 j cap okay so these are the displacement vectors of the lamp in each one second interval now we all know that we should break a rotational plus translational motion type of uh, movement of a body so here there is a horizontal disc which is performing both rotational and translational motion so we'll break it into two parts okay so displacement vector of the lamp with respect to the ground will be equals to displacement vector of the center of mass plus displacement vector of the lamp with respect to the center of mass okay always remember to break the motion into two parts that is one is of the center of mass and one is with respect to the center of mass okay now in one second time interval in one second time interval this whole thing can be written as del r l equals to in one second the center of mass travels let us consider along the x axis that would be v c i cap because I am considering the motion something like this towards the x axis and also rotating with an angular velocity omega plus 
del r l c. So, this is the displacement vector of the lamp when you are observing from the center of mass here. Okay. So, let us dig deeper into this one. If you observe the lamp while sorry, if you observe the lamp while sitting on the center of mass of the disc, suppose once you see the lamp here then after one second the lamp turns by an angle of omega because the whole lamp is moving rotating actually with an angular velocity of omega. So, now the position of the lamp is here and in this one second this is del r l c okay? and the magnitude of this one will be 2 r sin omega by 2. Okay. So, this is a pretty basic uh, vector derivation that uh, if this is r, this is r, then magnitude of this one will be 2 r sin of half of this angle. Okay. So, you can derive it yourself, not a big deal. But one thing to notice here is that this vector rotates every time in each second because suppose for green so what was the sorry red to green for red to green the vector is displacement vector is here then from green to yellow the displacement vector is here so the displacement vector is changing its direction actually it is rotating with an constant angular velocity omega okay but the magnitude always remains constant so, basically this whole displacement vector with respect to the ground is nothing but the vector addition of the velocity vector of the center of mass and a rotating vector and this rotating vector keeps its magnitude constant, but it is rotating with a constant angular velocity omega. Now, here the thing becomes trickier. See this resultant of this vector and this vector remember that this is a rotating vector is this one now tip of this rotating vector will always lie on the circle okay will always lie on a circle so let us draw that circle let me draw this diagram then it will be easier for you to understand let this be the circle Okay. Let this be the x axis, this be the y axis. Okay. Now, let me take some other color. Now, vector addition of the velocity vector that is velocity vector of the center of mass and this rotating vector is this one and the tip of this vector will always lie on this circle. Okay. For example, if you consider from red to green, okay, the displacement vector will point on minus 3 comma minus 5. So, it is somewhere here I guess. Okay. So, V c and another vector of magnitude 2r sin omega by 2 will point in this direction minus 5. What about the next one for green to yellow? It will point on 7 comma minus 5. Okay. So, 7 comma minus 5 will be somewhere here. 7 comma minus 5 okay. and this will be the resultant vector or the displacement vector with respect to the ground and this one is the rotating vector here this one after one second it comes here after one second it again goes there okay so this is the 2r sin omega by 2 
fine and let us draw another one also this vector and it will point at 7 comma 5 so where is 7 comma 5 it will be somewhere here okay so this is the rotating vector of magnitude 2 r sin omega by 2 and this is the final displacement vector with respect to ground okay so first one is red to green this one is red to green this one is green to yellow and this one is yellow to blue fine 7 comma 5 so we have done the hard part of the problem okay that is drawing this diagram this one is the this one was the hardest part now you just need to break these vectors and uh, compare with this one so this angle is whole omega this one is also omega um, sorry for the clumsy diagram okay so let us take this one first so the displacement vector is minus 3 i cap minus 5 j cap minus 3 i cap minus 5 j cap will be equals to will be equal to this plus this okay so this one is nothing but vci cap and uh, let us break this vector into two components this angle is omega by 2 okay so one component would be minus 2r sin omega by 2 sin omega by 2 i cap and another one will be 2r sin omega by 2 cos omega by 2 j cap okay so comparing left hand side and right hand side we get vc minus 2r sin omega by 2 sin omega by 2 again is equal to minus 3 first equation and the second one is minus 2 sin omega by 2 cos omega by 2 is equal to minus 5 okay I hope that was clear now let us make few more equations from green to yellow that means this one okay so green to yellow is 7 i cap minus 5 j cap 7 i cap minus 5 j cap that is this vector is nothing but the vector addition of this one and this one uh, okay plus 2r sin omega by 2 sin omega by 2 i cap okay fine sir and uh, because this angle is also omega by 2 okay minus 2r cos omega by 2 j cap comparing both sides again that will give you vc plus 2r sin omega by 2 sin omega by 2 will be equals to 7 equation number 3 and 2r cos omega by 2 is equal to 5 that would give you equation number 4 so I am trying to compare equation 1 with equation 3 okay so just add equation 1 with equation 3 that would give you 2vc that would give you 2vc and uh, 7 minus 3 will give you 4 okay so that is vc equals to 2 centimeter per second so we have got one answer and uh, what else do we have hmm. 
okay now we have got vc now we can find out the value of 2r 2r sin square omega by 2 that is from first equation only will be equal to 2 plus 3 that is equal to 5 okay so 2r sin square omega by 2 is equal to 5 so let this be our fifth equation if we just divide equation 1 with uh, e sorry equation 5 with equation 2 so equation 5 divided by equation 2 that is 2r sin square omega by 2 divided by 2r sin omega by 2 cos omega by 2 that will be equal to 1 ok so 2r so that gives you tan omega by 2 equals to 1 so that means omega by 2 equals to pi tan pi by 4 or omega equals to 0.5 pi radians per second so we have got another answer now just we will put the value of omega in equation number 5 so in equation number 5 we have 2 r sin square omega by 2 that means omega by 2 sorry omega means pi by 2 equals to 5 so 2 r this is sin square of pi by 4 that is 1 by 2 equals to 5 that gives you r equals to 5 centimeter <sighs> ok so that was a long solution I hope uh, you didn't get bored here uh, please uh, comment down below if you found this video helpful and informational okay thank you